somewhere in the world a flight is departing and landing because of what we have contributed to that. It's very important that aircraft cannot be overloaded. But we wouldn't be able to get that flight out without all of us, the ramp agents, dispatching, the flight crews, and we get them out every 55 seconds. We have 24 hour support across our stations that we're always there. It's a bigger process that we are part of. We calculate the weight and the balance before the flight takes off. Depending on the type of aircraft and the customer, it would start at different times. But on average for a long-range aircraft, we normally start at around four hours to departure. At the beginning, the aircraft has a standard structural weight. You have different types of aircrafts. You have your narrow body, you have your wide body. So within the structural limits, what we do, we start off with passengers. Business class, first class, premium, and then you have economy. There is a standard weight for a passenger, male, female, a child and an infant. We have a standard baggage weight. We would multiply all those weights. As load control, you would calculate what we call the estimate zero fuel weight. And that's basically the full weight of the plane without the fuel. The zero fuel weight is sent off to the flight planning. And they calculate that specific weight for the aircraft type, taking into consideration the weather aspect of the route and that would give a fuel calculation. Crew was 5 and 30. We extract all the data and then I take the cargo, I take the baggage, I plan the aircraft. Once passengers are boarded, the aircraft is loaded. We receive the data from a ramp agent or a TCO. We have a very sophisticated system which is called Altea. We enter all the information and then we'll send a final zero fuel weight to the flight deck. Passengers have absolutely no idea the scientific processes, how the logistics, how things are being done behind the scenes. 